Hey, welcome to Wrench. This is my channel. I am Michael. Behind me is a 1969 Porsche 911S former race car that I'm converting back into a street car. So I bought a gutted shell about a year ago and the engine I'm choosing to use is a twin turbo Subaru EZ30R flat six. Now I chose that engine because the bang for the buck in terms of power is way more than I could get from any Porsche engine. The problem is, is that car was obviously set up for an air-cooled engine and I'm using a water-cooled engine, which means that I have to cool the thing down. Now, my original idea was I was gonna get a couple of small, like Austin Healey or MG radiators and put them into the wheel wells of the car because I didn't wanna do the big giant front radiator that a lot of guys that do Porsche engine swaps use. Uh, I was at a Porsche event down in Southern California and there was a row of vendors and I stopped by one of the vendors who happened to make radiators and coolers and um, talked to the guy about it. Didn't really know who the guy was. Turns out he happened to be the CEO of the company and he loved the project, loved what we're doing. And by the way, if you wanna see all the progress that I've done on this car in one year, the previous video to this is the one that'll show you. I did a time lapse from getting the car into my driveway all the way up until now. So the guy says, well, you know what, why don't you put a couple of our radiators in your car? And I said, all right, that sounds great. Here's what I didn't know. I didn't realize that if I had said like, oh, I need a watch, um, and a guy said, oh, I'll send you a watch, that it would be like a Rolex Daytona because the radiators that were sent to me are the equivalent of a Rolex Daytona. They have just arrived, and I'm gonna take you guys through the unboxing along with me. I haven't seen them in person yet. So I'm unboxing the King Cooler by CSF Radiators. And if you guys don't know who CSF is, and again, I didn't at the time, forgive me CSF, but these guys do like full on race cars and SEMA builds and Pikes Peak race cars. And they are the creme de la creme, as they say in the creme business of radiators. So let's unbox one of these King Coolers and see what we've got in store. They came in three separate boxes, which is super cool. All right, well, that's dope. I don't know what this is yet. The reason why we want to choose these coolers is because they're very small. This is the fan that comes with all of them. And here it is. First and foremost, these things are so well packaged. And that's always a great sign, you know, when you get something from a company and they've taken so much time and effort to package it well. Wow, this is like a jewel. So the first thing you're gonna notice is the size. This is so much smaller than what you'd expect kind of this high-end radiator to be. These, because of the technology involved, um, this size, which I'm gonna measure for you guys right here on camera, is essentially two and a half times bigger than the measurements show. Meaning this is the thickest two-row cooler I think that exists on the market. So let's look at this thing first. I mean, how gorgeous is that? <laughs> Who wants to put that in their car? I certainly do. So this thing feels super light. Uh, let me show you what the size is, in case you guys are trying to do measurements on your own. Length is 14 and 1 8, no, 14 and 3 8. Height is 10 inches. Thickness without fan is not quite three and a half, three and three eighths. And I imagine if I put the fan on, it's gonna be whatever that is. Maybe not quite that thick, let's find out. So I've got a small fan and this is already bracketed for it. So it actually sits like that. And the full height or thickness is, so that overall width is like five and three quarters. Let's find out what's in this little box. Oh, wow, that is crazy. All right, check this out. I can't get over how beautiful all this stuff is. So it comes with uh, weld-on bracketry that you can use for your own custom installs, which is super cool. And then it also comes with, um, I think these are Dash 16 AN fittings or your standard like hose clamp fittings. So you can rock uh, either one of those. 
all in one kit. That is rad. So from a packaging standpoint, this is brilliant. I mean, it's so small that you can just imagine this sitting up this way. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is, uh, in this video, I'm gonna see if I can get this to tuck. Um, I have specific spots that are customized for my radiators, but I wanna see if I can get the thing to mount this way or this way in sort of a standard front Porsche wheel well. Because if I can, that's gonna make engine swaps, at least cooling engine swaps, a no brainer for all of us that are doing these. So I've got this thing at an angle in here and I think it would absolutely work. You could use the uh, vent on an early car to bring air in or even do something uh, with this light pod by modernizing it. Um, or it could be out in the air, but I don't know if it would get enough flow. I think ideally if you could figure out a way to mount it like this so you can get air from underneath. Um, I've got special cutouts in my chassis here where I can mount it sideways like that and it's perfect. Um, but there's a lip right here on the inside of this fender that I think if the lip were trimmed that you could probably get it to fit straight up and down like that. But your mileage may vary. Now one of the reasons why this thing is so efficient is because they use something called B-tube technology. So this is an example of it. It's a, let's see if I can get this to focus. See there, see how there's two little modules? This chunk of metal is basically shaped like there's one solid wall on this side and then it forms a B on the other side. And because of this technology, they're the only ones that have it. This radiator in and of itself is 15% more efficient than if you just had a regular oval here, which is what most radiators have. So imagine now you've got two of these. They're super light. I'm not sure if I mentioned how light they are, but this is really, really light. Um, you got two of these things running way higher volume than a standard radiator of the same size which is why if you need to package something, if you're like a JDM person and you're doing like that Honda K swap or something, you want, this is like a perfect size. Certainly if you're doing a Subaru swap in a Porsche or Volkswagen, if you're doing a V8 swap, in fact, there's a video on YouTube of a guy that has done a V8 swap in a Porsche and is using two of these as well. So this is really like the ultimate radiator for Porsche engine swaps. I'm gonna put this aside a little bit and check out the intercooler I got. This is just a core. So I told him what I was gonna do and told him like what kind of boost I was running, which is very low on my car. You have a, a top and a bottom uh, welded onto this. And then once you've got that top and a bottom, uh, and you can configure it any way you want, then you've got a killer intercooler. So in my case, I'm gonna be going obviously two into one because I've got a twin turbo setup in the back of my car. All right, so this is the 8068 intercooler core. Uh, it is six inches high, three inches tall, and I think, what, 27 inches wide. And it is capable of doing 800 horsepower. So we're good. That's way more horsepower than I have in this car. Um, uh, in fact, it may be way overkill. We'll have to figure that out as we go along. but. Uh, certainly plenty capable of what I need to do. Same as the other, very, very well done. Hey, so I meant to mention, if you guys want to follow along while these radiators are fabricated and installed, subscribe to the channel. This is a really fun build, something I've never done before, and it would be really cool to have you along for the ride. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled unboxing. If you need it, the part number on the King Cooler is 7065. 7065 for the King Cooler part number. So that is it. If you guys need the highest tech radiator in the smallest possible place, the King Cooler from CSF looks like it's the jam. This is nice enough looking that I might want to just put it on a shelf and order another one. I'm just kidding. Uh, stay tuned for the next couple of videos where I will be fabricating and installing these into my car. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.